A number of changes were made to the New York Real Property Law in 2019, which apply to both regulated and unregulated apartments in New York City. Changes were made to security deposits, application fees, the retaliatory eviction provision, notice requirements for non-renewal and rent increases above 5%, tenant screening blacklists, and apartment reletting obligations for landlords. Limitations on security deposits for all apartments. The Housing Stability and Tenant Protection Act of 2019 mandates a maximum security deposit for both regulated and unregulated units of no more than one month of rent. The maximum amount which may be collected upon commencement of a lease is one month rent and one month security deposit. Furthermore, security deposits must now be returned to the tenant within 14 days of moving out. Limitations on application and late fees. Under the new legislation, a tenant may only be charged the lower of $20 or the actual cost of a credit report. Landlords must also furnish a copy of any credit report obtained to the prospective tenants. The new legislation also caps late fees for both regulated and unregulated units to the lesser of $50 or 5% of rent. Retaliatory Eviction the new legislation prohibits retaliatory eviction by a landlord against a tenant for a period of one year after a tenant makes a good faith complaint to government's authorities or to the landlord directly, alleging a violation of the warranty of habitability. Notice requirements for non-renewal and large rent increases. The Housing Stability and Tenant Protection Act of 2019 increases the notice requirements for a non-renewal of a lease or a rent increase greater than 5% to 30 days notice for leases under a year, 60 days for leases between one and two years, and 90 days for leases of two years or more. Duty to mitigate damages for reletting. The Housing Stability and Tenant Protection Act of 2019 requires landlords of both regulated and unregulated units to make a reasonable, good-faith attempt at reletting a unit if a tenant vacates before their lease expires. Landlords must re-rent at the lesser of previous rent or market rent, and the existing tenant is off the hook once a new lease is signed. Restrictions on usage of housing court records to screen tenants. Under the new legislation, a landlord may not consult housing court records as part of the screening process for a prospective tenant. Accessing court records or tenant blacklists will automatically create a rebuttable presumption that the landlord has violated this statute. Changes to Housing Court Procedures the Housing Stability and Tenant Protection Act of 2019 significantly expands the procedure for handling non-payment of rent. Specifically, the landlord must give both a 5-day notice and a subsequent 14-day demand for rent to the tenant by certified mail if the tenant does not pay rent. Any demands for rent and subsequent non-payment summary judgment may only be in the amount of the rent and cannot include any other charges such as late fees. In addition, the amount of time a tenant has to answer a non-payment petition has increased to 10 days from 5. Furthermore, Landlord's Council is now required to submit a written motion to request continued rent payment during proceeding. The 2019 legislation also permits tenants to bring forth orders to show cause and seek further stays of court's determination after trial. Under the new legislation, landlords who illegally evict a tenant or harass a tenant to entice a move-out are subject to prosecution for a Class A misdemeanor and a fine between $1,000 and $10,000.